first thing to do is make sure that the vehicle is properly lifted safely so that you won't be injured because to remove the compressor you need to remove it from the bottom so make sure you lift the vehicle safely the next thing we're going to do is we're going to evacuate the ac lines because they are under pressure okay this step you might not have to do but i'm going to go ahead and remove the tire just so i can have a lot of space to work with when i get under the vehicle i'm going to remove the tire it is a 19 millimeter socket <laughs> Okay guys, so you're gonna get under the vehicle and you're going to remove this plastic piece here because this is where the compressor lives. But before I can do that, I see that I have two torque screws there, T20s, and I can't remove this piece unless I remove this piece first so that I can get to those. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a 13 millimeter socket there as well as over there and then T20 torques for here and as well as for the other side so we can remove this piece. One thing I forgot to mention guys is that there is a actual uh, clip here, a plastic clip that you need to remove also. There you go. So go ahead and take that out and remove it. And now this piece can come off. Okay, so put that to the side. Okay, now that we have that removed, we can see those torque screws. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna unloosen those. I'm also going to unloosen this clip here as well as this one. Okay guys, just like I thought, the only thing I had to remove was this one. The one that was here, which is located here. And the two torque T20 screws. And then this piece should come out. As you can see guys, now we can see the AC compressor. You have more than enough room to work here and to remove it. Now what I need to do is I'm going to go and remove the serpentine belt so that I can get this pulley free and I can get the compressor free and then remove it. So we're gonna take off this belt. Okay guys, to remove this belt, you're going to need a 12.19 millimeter socket to insert here. And then you're going to loosen the tensioner so you can free up this belt. Let me see if I can show you, even if I'm holding the phone with one hand so you can see make sure it's grabbed real good or you're gonna risk stripping this or breaking it and then you're gonna get in a bigger problem so as you can see if I try to put pressure here you see how the tensioner is moving you got to put enough pressure so that the belt the belt frees and then you can remove it I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I can't show you with uh, one hand Okay guys, so the belt has been removed. You don't have to remove it completely. You can just, you know, bring it out the way because you're gonna have to reinstall it. So just bring it out the way so you have it freeing the compressor. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, remove the lines that go to the compressor. Okay guys, as you can see, you have one line right there where my uh, finger is. And then you have the other line. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, right under this hose. Okay, so I'm gonna use a long extension to take both of those lines out because we cannot remove the compressor without removing those two lines, okay? So I believe it's a 13 millimeter socket, okay, with a long extension. Let's remove it. Long extension here with a 13 millimeter. Okay, remember to evacuate the AC system before you try to remove these lines, okay? Just a small amount of excess pressure stayed in this line. I'm just waiting for it to, uh, to liberate. There we go. Okay guys, I have it removed. One thing I did notice though that it is connected to the AC pressure switch. So I'm going to disconnect the AC pressure switch. 
Okay guys, I removed the plug. Now, as you can see, I put the line on the side over here. Now I'm gonna remove the other one, as you can see. I already have my, my extension on there. Okay guys, now that we disconnected our lines, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the compressor plug, okay, the harness, so they will come out by itself. And let's look at the bolts. We have a total of three. We have one right here. You see it right there? And then you have one right here. And then you want you have one right on top of this one on the other side. Okay, I already loosened those bolts. I haven't taken them out completely because I wanted to tell you guys that once you remove those three bolts, the compressor is going to loosen up. So just be careful that it won't fall on you. Uh, so just be ready to you know hold it when you remove the final bolt. Okay guys, I removed the compressor, old one, this is the new one, let me give you the GM part number right here, 42699129, okay, original equipment, so let's go ahead and uh, figure out how much oil this compressor requires before we install it. Okay, so at this moment, it's letting me know that the new compressor comes with 1.4 ounces of oil. Okay, now the full system capacity is 3.7. You have 1.4 on the condenser, 1.4 on the evaporator, and then the rest is gonna be for the compressor. So we're gonna leave what it has in here for now, and if we need to add more in, we can do so later when we recharge. So let's go ahead and install the compressor. Before I install the compressor, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these uh, seals so that it could be easy for me right now since the compressor is not on there. I'm going to put it on this one, which will be the smaller one. And then the bigger one will be for the one that's hanging down there. So let's go ahead and put these seals on. Hey guys, new compressor has been installed. Just put those 13 millimeter bolts, tighten them down, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lines. Okay, so when installing those lines, one thing I feel that works is if you get a piece of uh, paper or a piece of rag or, or anything like that, you put it on top of the, of the socket, and then you put the bolts that you're going to install in there so that it can fit flush and that it won't fall out when you uh, try to maneuver it in the hole and that'll help you uh, install the bolt easier just like that so now it ain't gonna fall and now you can maneuver it into the hole and um, tighten it down okay guys we have the lines installed we have the connector plugged in for the compressor for the AC pressure switch as well we got it connected Okay, now we're going to um, install the uh, belt. Use that 19 millimeter 12 point socket to loosen the tensioner so that the actual belt can fit in this uh, grooves here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, for those of you that don't know the diagram of the belt, let me just give you a, a little Hey guys, before I start putting this piece back and this plastic piece back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the compressor clutch clockwise by hand about 10 to 12 turns just so that the oil that's inside the compressor can start traveling its way through the lines. I always do this to new compressors. Just give it a couple of turns. Hey guys, we have this installed, we have this installed. The belt's installed. Ok 
okay guys and the steps to figure out how much oil you need you know it tells you to drain the uh, oil from the old compressor or from the refrigerant system and see how much and compare it to um, this information but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, since I know the compressor has 1.4 ounces of oil and the condenser has 1.4 and the evaporator has 1.4 to it uh, equal up to a total of 3.7 Okay guys, so I have my temperature sensor here to detect the temperature of the incoming air. And so far we have 46 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna take it out for a test drive and see if it goes any lower. It's probably gonna go down to 44, 43, maybe 42. And now we can verify that we have installed the compressor correctly. And yeah guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave any comments in the comment section. And I really appreciate it, thank you so much.